Okay, hello everyone, this is Scott Atwood, and I'm going to do a review on the Turquoise Bible from Church Bible Publishers. Came in this nice box, the 140RL, red letter water buffalo and this bible is a uh, very very special to me this was given to me by a subscriber of mine that uh we spoken on the phone and became fast friends he's a truck driver from missoula montana so we hit it right off now this is a uh, and he sent me this for and the pet minion. Uh, uh, his name's uh, Joe Wilbur. Just he said it's just like the the pig. <laughs> but uh, I I'm, I appreciate this so much. This is a. Uh, the Water Buffalo and Milk Chocolate. This is a Bible that I have been wanting oh, for over a year. I bought a bunch of Bibles. I went on a Bible buying binge last year. Um, and bought a bunch of study Bibles and everything. And, you know, everyone thinks that I'm a collector, and I guess I am, but not really. It's kind of by accident. I have been searching uh, for that perfect Bible that just fits me to the T. And I've got a couple that I really like, but this one's it, folks. This turquoise, I just love it. Anyhow, I'm going to show you. This is, it's edge lined. It's got the leather lining. This water buffalo is unmatched, uh, in my opinion, by any Bible that I've seen uh, about the cover. It is still a little stiff. I did the whole break-in thing, but it's stiff at the front. All right, this is uh, who gave it to me. Joe Wilbur, and he was born again April 13th, 2019. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. It's got the family record, the marriages, the children. This is all card stock. And there's the number again. Church Bible Publishers. Got the dedication to King James. My air conditioner went out, so we're using fans right now. <laughs> That's why the pages are blowing. And then we got the translator to the reader. I highly recommend that if you have a King James. And then the book block. Oh, something that's really cool about this turquoise is if you see this little number up here, that gives you the chapter number. Um, of every chapter in the Bible. Like this is the third chapter. We'll go up here. This is the 223rd chapter. And let's just see how many is in the whole book. And it does that all the way through. So when you're reading through you can say well I've read this many chapters I've already uh, Joe I already started transferring my notes <laughs> I'm carrying this Bible I love this I, I he said the Lord laid it on his heart to give me this Bible and I really believe that I believe it's anointed uh, for me 1189 chapters in the book Wow it's red letter edition 
there is a few inconsistencies with the red letter, but nothing that makes it uh, where you can't read it or anything. It just gets a little lighter, which is, you know, common with a lot of Bibles. That Cambridge uh, I got, uh, that red letter is the best red letter i ever seen. Uh, it's something else. I love the references in this Bible. I love the 11 point font. I see. I want to tell you a little about, about Joe because it was a, a blessing what's happened. I was, uh, I was in Arizona and we had to stop and wait because we had to deliver in the morning. So we were at a truck stop and, uh, he told me he was giving me this Bible, then he gave me his phone number, so I called him. And we got to talking, and uh, he said, uh, he said, I've always uh, been religious and, uh, you know, thought of God. And he, he collected Bibles, and he had several. He had this one, he has several Bibles. And he's talking along, and I, I all of a sudden, and he, if you're a believer, you can relate with this. The Holy Spirit started dealing with me, and was telling me, "You need to, you need to witness to this guy." Well, here I'm thinking, you know, he's got to be a Christian, and he's got all these Bibles. And he, he was saying, "Well, I've always had an infinity towards." cry or towards you know religion and he kept mentioning that and it was the holy spirit i don't know how the holy spirit talks to you but he's sometimes he's harsh with me he said hey mcfly this guy needs to meet jesus so i said is there any been, been any time that you, you know you can mark the time that uh you were saved and he said no and uh, then the Holy Spirit really just took over and I showed him a few verses he had his Bible right there and uh, I said now in your own words you know ask the Lord to save you and he did praise the Lord that was such a blessing I couldn't sleep that night I was uh, that just gives me an adrenaline rush. Uh, the God that God tr entrusted me uh, with this this you know mission. If you're here, that's your that's what you're here for. If you're a Christian, you're here to witness. And uh, the Lord saved Joe and wrote his name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And he's under the blood now. And so praise the Lord. I told him, I said, now this book's really going to come to life. If you don't have the Holy Spirit teaching you this book, it's uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But praise the Lord, Joe got saved. He gave me this wonderful Bible. I've made a great new friend and someone that uh you know maybe i can help along with his faith i, I sure hope i can yes i've already started into this i'm tear i'm gonna tear this one uh i'll i'll devour this book i'm gonna start in uh, genesis and go through but anyhow that's enough about that uh, back to the book the center references i found are really good really good easy 11 point font, easy to read. Uh, it's a real nice Bible. The best thing about these is uh, the water buffalo. I just, I've got a, a lot of Bibles and a lot of premium Bibles, but this is, the feel of this is just something else. It just feels really good in your hand. Now, that's the milk chocolate. It's got uh, three. 3 8 ribbons, they're uh, silk, I guess, they're very nice. 
and they're uh, extra long. It's not edge lined, but it's uh, this is a. I don't think these covers are gonna tear apart. Look at those corners. Very well done. Very well done Bible. I, I think Church Bible Publishers for the money uh, makes the best Bibles. They're a ministry, so if you do buy one from them, I would encourage helping them out a little bit. But that's basically it. Church Bible Publishers Turquoise. I'm going to be using this one a lot. And I'm probably going to lay off buying Bibles because uh, for a while, so it might be a while before I, uh, any opportunity I get to see another Bible, I'll try to review. But uh, I just want to get in the Word and use the ones I got. I got so many now that uh, I try to use them because I feel guilty <laughs> if I'm not using them. But last year I went on a buying binge and got a bunch of study Bibles and uh, this year it's all about the text. I, uh, I use my study Bibles every once in a while but it's all about the text only. I think God blesses that in my life anyhow blesses that more when I just uh, text only. I don't, if I have notes down here, I'm going to look at them, and that immediately gives me an opinion. Uh, and uh, that's not always what the Holy Spirit wants. The Holy Spirit is the best teacher, and uh, he'll teach you this book. It's got the one-inch wide margins, too. I mean... It's not a wide margin Bible, but it has plenty of room for notes. I guess that's about three eighths in the in the gutter there. But Joe, thank you so much uh, for becoming a part of my life, and thank you for this Bible and the pit minion you sent me. And I'm sure we're going to have a long friendship if the Lord tarries. All right, well, that's about it. This is my new carry Bible. This is the one I've been searching. And uh, this one here fits my hand like a glove. It feels good. The 11 point font is a, uh, I've been, this has been my carry Bible, which I'm still gonna keep because I love this size. I'll keep this on the truck too because it's real good at night to read. This is the 180. But uh, I like the 10 point font because it's a little bigger. But that 11 point's even bigger yet. So, I'm really going to like it. I'm going to devour this one. <laughs> and uh, Lord bless y'all. And please uh, read your Bible. No matter what Bible you got, read it. Doesn't do any good on the shelf. You can argue what version you like better or what this or what that, but if you're not reading it, it's not doing you any good. Holy Spirit speaks to you through his word. All right, well, God bless you, and thank you again, Joe. Amen.